hey guys it's Daps. welcome to my youtube channel i am excited as usual to bring you this video in this video i want to show you how you can clone any website with a single click of a button to wordpress bricks builder in my last cloning tutorial i showed exactly how to use this tool you can see on your screen here called uh, clone web x to clone any website online to elementor so this tool literally will help you clone any website to your preferred landing page uh, they have webflow elementor bricks builder and also three more page builders coming soon in the pipeline so just in case you are more into elementor than bricks builder you can check the video description to see a link to that tutorial i did you can click that link on the screen to see that tutorial but in this tutorial we want to focus more into bricks builder as i time i'm filming this video this tool is just newly launched just about 24 hours ago this tool was launched they currently have a launch special 30 percent discount off using this tool also you can check the video description to see a coupon code from me that will give you an additional five percent so it means literally you can get this for as low as uh 35 percent off however this tool also have a, a free uh plan as well which gives you access to three exports per month the not a good thing about the free is just that you get to have access to a desktop template alone so it means that whatever you are cloning here will not be fully responsive so i will encourage that you check out uh, some of their pro plans and also before i go straight to the tutorial there is something here in the faq on their website it says are there any limitation i should be aware of I need to mention this specifically. It says that Clone Web X is continually evolving and improving. Currently, it's advisable to avoid importing complex functionalities such as over effects, animations, slideshows, carousels, and some other things like that. So, you may not get a perfect clone if you are trying to clone website with such functionalities. But as they have claimed here, they are working so hard to improve the platform so that it can accommodate for all of those complex functionalities on your website so that's it so that is the answer to you if you are trying to use this tool and it's not giving you a perfect answer what you need to do is just buy now any of the package here uh make payment you get a notification via email come back to the website create a free account with the email that you have used so if you do all of those things that should bring you to a platform like this and the first thing you'll be asked to do is to create a project for the purpose of this tutorial i want us to clone wordpress.org website just for tutorial purposes alone this tutorial is strictly for educational purpose i'm not encouraging you to go out there and start cloning people's website there are legal consequences for you cloning people's website so you need to be extremely careful so after that is said we can come back here and then we can create a new project i can call this project name wordpress clone and the domain name should be wordpress.org so let me just copy this domain name here so i think this uh, future here is quite good for you to add a domain name so that you can add subsequent uh, maybe pages to the same domain or something like that just for categorization it makes a lot of sense so once that is done you see that it will ask you here to add your chrome extension which is literally very important because if you do not have this chrome extension you would not be able to clone any website so, and once you do that is you have a blue icon like this literally very simple so you can then come back to the website you want to clone in our own case here like i mentioned wordpress.org and what you need to do before you start any clone is for you to scroll through this page to see that every element of this page is fully loaded just in case you are trying to clone a website that has lots of animations that has lazy load activated so you want to make sure that every element on the website is fully loaded just like you can see on the screen and the next thing we want to do is just come to this icon here click it here and then we need to select the project website clone like i mentioned and then i will add this page that's everything we need to do to clone this page 
so you get this pop-up here another new page here that says loading experience and then we have our website here so this literally is a clone of wordpress.org and i think this is fantastic this is a perfect clone so now you would see that we have a box here by our far right here that would help us uh, make the best of our clone so uh before we go to the box uh, let's see how we can select elements that we want to clone on the page it can be very possible that you just want to clone an aspect of the page so you can over around that element and once you click this you can see that you have the option for the element you selected and what i like about this is that you have this eye cursor here for you to see exactly what you have selected so if you click this right now so you can see what you have selected goes blank on the screen and you have the option i can click this again toggle it again and you can see it's visible so i can click this right now this is the parent selector and this is the current selector i can click this now to clone the entire page and if you scroll down you will see that everything on the page is not visible anymore this is exactly what we want to do so if we click this right now you would see that this would select uh, the element already we want to clone on the website so if i click this again i can click this right now to view my element again that's it for that the next thing we have right now here is our preferred page builder and if we click this you will see that we have quite a number of options like i told you in my last tutorial i worked on elementor but for now i want to work on bricks and then you can reduce your dome size this is still in beta but i don't want to experiment with this so you can also work on your viewpoint here to select what brick point you want for your tablet your mobile landscape or your mobile view that's fantastic we also have option here for how we want to export our page whether or not we want to export everything or we want to copy this to a site copy it to your site yourself it means that you just want to copy basic things and you want to style the css yourself but we'll leave this as copy everything and we'll hit the export button here and you can see that this page now has been copied to clipboard so now the next thing we want to do now is to go to our page where we have wordpress installed and also bricks builder So I come here to this page uh, here. I already have bricks installed in this page. So I can just literally add a new page. I can give this page a title. I can call it WordPress. And then I can choose to publish this page. All right, so now let's view this page in the new tab first. And then we come here, we have this page here. Very blank, nothing here, just a title. And we'll come back here let's edit this with bricks all right so we have our, our bricks builder loaded so we can just click the div selection here and then we can come to the page here and then right click and then we can paste mind-blowing right so you can see we have our wordpress website here fully responsive isn't this amazing wow this is good you can check the viewpoint uh you can see to see that this page is very very responsive uh, so you can change this you can change the text i can just say wordpress uh, clone with apps and then once we are done here we can save our page all right yeah this is done let's come back here and let's refresh our page and you can see literally isn't this amazing you can see how super simple it is for us to clone wordpress website so we can continue we can come back to wordpress.org here and go to the about page we can clone the about page too as well it's just as simple as coming to about and then we open up our tool as well to select the project we can see wordpress clone we can add that page there to clone that page again and once that is done we can copy it and then we can paste it to our page and literally that's how super simple and easy it is you can see our about page is ready 
isn't this amazing so we can do the same thing for our about page too as well uh copy everything we want to do and paste it uh in our wordpress website so this tool literally called clone web x is my favorite tool now for cloning any website to my preferred page builder whether it's brick builder it's elementor and also bricks builder and i'm excited waiting to see what i can do with this also with gutenberg i will leave the link to this tool in the video description uh you would see my coupon code as well to get amazing deal to try out this tool yourself so go check it out guys and let me know your experience in the comment section i'll be looking out for them that's my time for this tutorial i'll see you in another one check out my playlist uh you should see that on the screen right now i'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.